In this video, we will look more into what is a spoiler. Spoiler and wing are slightly different. Spoiler is typically used in the rear end of the car, and the wing also is used at the rear end of the car. But the wing is slightly higher, right about the roof line, to be away from the actual airflow of the car. And the entire purpose of the wing is to create downforce with minimal drag. And the spoiler is meant to spoil the unfavorable air that allow the drag to be reduced. So what really is a drag? Drag is basically as a car cutting through the air. As we pushing all the air out and the car pass through, the air has to rush back in. And as the air rush back in, it creates this type of turbulence. This turbulence that created by the air that been displaced as you moving your car through the air. So there is a way to reduce the turbulence. The way to reduce the turbulence is to allow the air flow more smoother, create less turbulence by changing the shape and how the air rushing back in behind the vehicle. In this teardrop shape, it's an example of allow the turbulence or the air to rush back in slower, in a slower pace, so it doesn't create that much suction, allow you to propel your car forward without too much pullback by the drag. Here are few locations of drag. First, it's very easy, it's the head on wing as the car pushing through the air, moving all the air out of the way. That is a front drag. Another one is right behind the windshield, as the car moving forward and the air is rushing back in between the trunk and the windshield. But the biggest one is always the rear end of the car. The rear end of the car is 80 to 90% of where the air rushing back in. By placing a piece of spoiler on the top and the rear of the trunk, it fools the airflow that I think the car is much bigger. So as the air rushing back in, the air is much less dense. With less dense air and the suction point has been moving further back away from the car, the suction which drag is much less. So it allow you to propel the car forward with less pullback than before. Every car has different type of drag coefficient, different drag ratio. Depends which car you have and how the aerodynamic setup on the car, different drag will create it. But usually by placing a spoiler, spoiling the air, fooling the air, it will improve your coefficient drag ratio and allow your car go forward much easier let's pull back and that is the goal of a spoiler let's take a look at a few examples of what is a spoiler what is a wing and we can do some CFD analysis and look at the different type of design of a spoiler allow the car move forward with less drag this Viper has a wing and a spoiler high wing and this NASCAR has a spoiler only, wing and a spoiler, which is a very tall wing. And this F1 Rebel has a wing. This is also a spoiler, also a mini gurney flap. This is a wing, which is very tall above the roof. This is a high wing with a spoiler from this GT3 RS. This Corvette is really hard to say, it's right in the middle, so I call wing spoiler. This is a wing and a spoiler in the bottom for the F1. This Aventador has a wing. This is a wing spoiler. The air flows through the top. This C7 has a wing and a very tiny spoiler in the back. This McLaren has a spoiler. And this also back again to the Corvette. It could be a wing spoiler situation. This is also a wing spoiler situation right in that sweet spot. This is definitely a spoiler for this Audi. This CFD is done for Corvette. As you can see right now, it's a wing with a spoiler. 
and slowly you see uh, the stock rear Corvette I have all the pictures facing my car throughout the stages stage one two and three different wicker bills this is a car Corvette basically without anything as soon as we add a spoiler you open up that gap in the back you see a turbulence it's pulling away from it and you add a stage three or you erase that again you see how it pulls in really tight with the current and the wing basically has no effect on the entire car besides giving downforce that's the definition of wing but it has to be tall enough to pass the main airflow through the body preferably the same height as the roof you see the airflow is jerking away from the back when adding a spoiler we compress the air but the force turbulence about two three feet away from the trunk now it's really compressed it with a wicker bill three a few minutes ago okay now we're adding a different type of spoiler that is instead straight up and down it pulls away from the trunk have that tip away from the trunk this is a wicker bill you see how I Hide the compressed areas with the wicker bill, really force that air. Sandwich between the trunk, the wicker bill, and the, the wing. Now we remove the wicker bill. You see how that dirty that air is pulling the pulling the car like a suction cup. So you cannot go very fast. Faster you go, more drag there is. And you create this type of um, suction. It's a different type of a uh, spoiler. This is a wicker bill stage 3, really compressed it. See this turbulence in the slow mode. And it's not touching the back of the car. It's actually away, about a foot to six inches away. So the section is less, less dense. By, by having this wicker bill, but you, you do increase the drag, but the coefficient really drop by having that. Preferably, you want the tip of the spoiler to be further away from the trunk and towards the back. So in this case, you see that turbulence between the wicker bill right behind it. The violent vortex is where the suction really creates. So the wicker bill may not be the best way to do it. So now if we try the Ivan Tappy design, it pulls further away from the trunk, allow the turbulence to flow above and further back away from the car, like the image show. The turbulence is further back and create a very clean air buffer. In NASCAR, basically when car dragging on each other, bumper to bumper, rear bumper to front bumper, this is the clean air they're looking for. To allow both cars to push forward by reducing one particular car to almost no drag. The other car, two car, split one set of drag. So the car goes further. Thanks for watching, subscribe and like. Thank you.